Growing up, I was uh, given a lot of freedom as a child to uh, kind of hang out around the streets and uh, do as I wanted uh, in elementary school. And uh, that led to a lot of wandering around and getting into fights. Slowly that led into uh, stealing. And I'd walk around different stores and shoplift. Well, one day a group of us went out and uh, we ended up at the Tyler Galleria stealing things from different stores and ended up getting arrested. I was put on probation for a handful of years and this really uh, kick-started my life into enjoying the thrill. Just kind of continued a life of crime from then on. In seventh and eighth grade, I started using drugs and uh, drinking and partying and my eighth grade year, I fell into a crowd that was older than me that was dealing drugs and it seemed really interesting to me. So I got involved on the dealing end of marijuana. Once I got into high school, I really kind of lost the grip on reality and who I was. I got put myself in a position where my life was threatened and I needed to get out of the situation I was in. And so I thought joining the military would be the answer to getting out. Uh, while in the military, though, I had an urge to read the Bible. I don't really know why. I can't really think of what the reason was, but I would sit down and I'd read it. Uh, but I read it more as a storybook. I wasn't really getting anything out of it. I didn't understand it. So the only thing I took away from reading the Bible was the name Asher. And I just liked the name and knew that one day if I were to ever have a kid, I would, I would name him Asher. Towards the end of my military career, um, I ended up getting married and having a son and naming him Asher. Shortly thereafter, ended up getting a divorce. She moved home with Asher and I had to stay out and finish my time in the military. And then in 2008, I got discharged from the military and I came back home. I knew I was lost. I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know how to find it. So money was the only thing that made me happy or I thought made me happy, but really was just spiraling me out of control. Started to realize how hopeless I was by putting all my faith and all my energy into accumulating these things that I just thought would make me happy. And it's when I really hit a rock bottom in my life of like, well, what's next? I would put a dollar amount on everything and say, well, when I have this amount, I'll be fine. Or when I get these things, then I'll be okay. And uh, my wife would always tell me, well, you have it now. So can we, we stop? And it was never, it was never enough. It just created more stress because the more you buy, the more I would have to make and the more money I would think I would need. And it, it became a really huge uh, depression in my life. And then my son Asher uh, was about seven or eight and he was kind of acting the same way I was acting in elementary school. I saw a lot of myself in him, which was starting to be scary. We couldn't get him to listen. We couldn't get him to obey. And, and one day me and my wife were sitting around and I just thought, you know what? You hear the, the fear of God. So maybe that'll work. Not knowing even what that meant to me or what the fear of God is, because I had no understanding of it. But maybe for my son, maybe that's something my son needed. Me and my wife on a Sunday just happened to come in and thought we'd check it out and see maybe this might be what he needs in his life. So we came in and I remember going through worship and thinking, where am I? What's going on? This is a little crazy to me. I couldn't even tell you who the pastor was or even exactly what the sermon was about. But uh, by the time that I left that church, I knew something was going on. I had a understanding I never had before. Started to realize that I was the one who needed the help. And I wasn't gonna be able to help him until I helped myself. 
it was it was real overwhelming. So really from that day forward, I we never turned away from the grow. We started coming every Sunday and I dove into men's group. Within a few months of coming to the Grove, I started to realize where I was putting faith and what faith was, and I was putting it in all the wrong places. But looking back, I can see how he was there the whole time, waiting for me to respond. And uh, it took uh, me thinking my son needed help to actually step foot into a church. So hope in Christ for me is knowing I don't have to do it alone, knowing that these anxieties and these stresses, I don't have to take the burden by myself, that I have somebody that I can talk to and, and pray to whenever I need. When I am feeling hopeless, I can, I can pray for hope. And uh, he's taken a lot of these things that were causing my hopelessness away from me and so just the hope that I have for him and in him is the things that he has just changed in my life. My outlook on life is completely different. The things I, I love and hold high are different and I owe it all to him.